The 2019 Tafe New South Wales Polecats are proudly brought to you by The Great I Am Tafe New South Wales RA Motors Granville The Lord of the Roof Pants Pants Pest Control My Sports Tape Cook's Plumbing Supplies Atlantic Seafood Mount Druitt and Wingman Beer Welcome to the 2019 New South Wales Tertiary Students Rugby League Grand Final and in a cold and windy day here at Belmore we see the TAFE New South Wales Polecats take on the minor premiers of UTS Wanderers. Now let's meet the players. Welcome to the 2019 New South Wales Tertiary League match and here we go, the kickoff has begun. Dan? How are we Robbie? Good uh, mate, good. Good to be back here, good to see you back in the Polka colours. How mate, have you been? Outstanding. I've been really well. Uh, really looking forward to a big day today. Uh, warm up was good, both both teams. Intensity looks like it's going to be right on from the start. Well, the Polecats are defending first. We've uh, UTS, oh, Big Westo's taken up a big hit, and he's been met by Ricky, Willie. Good start by the Polecats, good defensive set. UTS will just be looked to get to the kick here. One more tackle to get through. And they put a kick, Ariski is onto it, he's taken it cleanly. I need some big carries up. from these boys coming out of their end to really start the set off well. Up and met nicely by the uh, UTS offence. All that ball was a little bit low from the uh, goes Curry. half. Just need their big boys to start to wind back up. And it's uh, I think it's on to the fourth. Tori on to Tori on to... Oh, look at Shai. Shai. Shai's found Ricky. Ricky's down the sideline. Oh, and he's lost it over the sideline. But that's a great run for the Polecats. Yeah, good little left edge play there, Robbie. Just went down that short side. I don't know about nice. you, Dan, but it's about minus 50 degrees here in the wind chill. <laughs> Wind I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's 15 degrees, Rob, but it feels like 12. <laughs> minus 12. <laughs> minus 12. <Yeah. laughs> oh, we've just 
called uh, time, time off, off here. Doesn't look good for Ricky down on the sideline. Yeah. He's got to get a bit of a patch up. He'll be right. Yeah, so I, think they'll, I think they'll look to go down that left edge a fair bit. That's, a, that's their strike weapon. You've got Tory, you've got um, Shime. Uh, they'll look to go down that edge a fair bit, I think. And uh, rest about to go call time back on. This is um, UTS that will be coming out of their 30 and looking to set themselves for a good set of six here. I'll probably try and get LJ involved early here if they can get an early carry uh, from him or Tommy get their set started. Daniel and uh, Cranny met met the uh, polka, uh, met the UTS players. Yeah, it looks like they're going. Down. They've gone. They've gone actually a little bit backwards, I think. Ah, uh, they're gone. Didn't need that early in the set. That's just a. That's just going to invite uh, UTS out of their end. Yeah. Strong breeze behind UTS as well. So Troy Dargan here is going to look to use this breeze, get them well inside the half. Not a bad touch finder. Let's see what they've got here. Brady Webb goes in. They're about 45 out from the Polecats line here. They've tapped it onto, onto one of the wings. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's comes got up an offload. Beats him. It is cold. <laughs> I mean, he's I think he's freezing like out here. Yeah. They'll go down this go. right side. Oh, looking. Oh. Ricky. Oh. Ricky and Tori. Dominating defence down Brother, that right edge. Brady dead. Webb goes down the short side. LJ, he's the danger man for them. Oh, and he's oh, lost he's it. knocked on. Here we go now. Risky's got the ball. He's taken in an attack all about 20. Great result. 20 out. Tory into the dummy half. Looks to Bruce. Oh, Perfect. there's been a head high. The Perfect result for... The ref arm went up as well. Real good result here. Polkats in. So they're sort of trading sets here. Getting, getting out of their end. I think... Uh, Polly's at UTS out of their end. Now you, uh, Polly's have a chance to go on the attack for the first time in a while. They really nice. need to try and keep their patience here, you, uh, Polcats. Uh. Polcats got the ball with uh, 45 out from the uh, UTS line. I'd be pushing to the middle here, Rob, and I'd be coming back at this edge. Oh, Curly, oh, it just bobbles in his hand. He just had a quick look, but he regained it. <coughs> Curly on his 48th birthday today. He's playing his... Playing his 500th game of uh, rugby leagues, outstanding effort. That's just for the Polecats. He's played plenty of years before that as well. Uh, Tori, yeah. short ball inside for Fui Maiano. Looks like they're going to go in pairs here. T Deezer takes it to the line, shifts it to now the wide. edge. Onto Matty Thomas. He's met by a couple of UTS defenders there. Here they go. They're going to punch one to the middle, I think. Then they're going to have a crack at this left edge. No. Oh yes, it's on. It's on. Oh, here we go. Try time here. Try time here, surely. Here He'll go, go himself and he's over. He the pole gets a first in. Same moto, it's that left edge, Rob. Called it. I've called it. He definitely They're has. shot in. The winger shot into about the tram line and they just had about four and one. Big uh, Benny Fayamoto. Fayamoto does the job. Yeah, well, he got a bit of white line fever and just went himself. Threw three dummies to no one and over he goes. Great, great work by the police. First attacking chance, first time they get down there. And they've showed their attacking prowess. So, Tory looking to make it uh, six nil. Tough day for goal kickers, Robbie. Tough day for goal kickers. Tough day for fullbacks. Some live updates, Dan. You take the commentary, mate. Yep. <laughs> Tori moves in. Strikes it well, but that breeze just caught it. Shaved away to the left. Polly's just be looking to complete here. If they can get down the other end. Tori seems to be limping with that hamstring. Uh, troubled him during the year. Not a, not a good sign. Uh, six minutes into the contest. Uh, 
Webb gets this underway. It's a high one. It's long. Bruce takes it up. That's a dominating Bruce gets run. him on the front foot. Fui Mayono. Oh, sorry, Ricky Willy. Taking it up. Really getting us on the front foot here. Deza takes it to the line. That's hard to stop, and he finds his front. Quick play of the ball. Brownie looking to bounce out. Carter. Very good start to this set. Famoto takes it up again. He looks hard to handle, this big fella. Now they get to the kick. I'd be putting it up in this win, Robbie. Definitely would. Oh, oh Tori. Willie. He's one. Willie. Willie. Through. He's there gone away go. from support. Here we go. To his brother, Ricky. CRY. Look like the uh, UTS uh, Wanderers just holding off of that kick there, Rob, and he's gone himself. Slicing that defence straight out the middle. That hamstring looked good there, and he's done the Mountie bop. Outstanding. Just sliced through. Try to Ricky Willie here. We're, we're six minutes in, and Robert is not looking good for UTS early. Well... They've definitely got to uh, work out how to um, contain the pole gets on their uh, on our left edge because we are just slicing through it. It looked like uh, Tory was going to put up a bomb, yeah. um, but he just faked, stepped left, stepped right, went around three UTS and linked up with his brother. Last tackle, he just you're right there, Rob. Just holding off for of that kick, just no kick pressure. Beat one, and then it was open spaced in behind that line. Fullback winger had nothing on him. Tougher assignment here for Ricky Willie from the touchline. Oh no, he's passed on the he's passed it on to Papali here. I think that hamstring not doing him any good, Ricky, so Papali from the sideline. I'll be starting at right post, bringing it back here, Rob. Into the yeah. into a stiff breeze. He's gonna need some power on it. Definitely is he moves uh, in. Strikes, strikes to the ball. left, yeah. So it I doesn't so. as, ba as bad as they've started UTS it's only 8-0 so there's plenty of time left in this game but they're going to have to respond with some better defence I think the left, left side of the polecats has just shredded them already and it's only uh, 10 minutes into the match UTS bringing the ball back to the uh, halfway line heads I'd it down here we go let's see what they can do Webb oh, gets underway uh, I'd be putting it up in the win the there Rob Oh, and they're already on the front foot. Look at Ben. That's a great one. Run from the... Uh, Fame Oto. What a start for him. Arona to the line. He'll just find his front. That's all he does all day. Just powering up the middle, finding his front, getting him on the front foot. They go down this left edge again. I'll be coming left edge here, Rob. Tory's set on the right, though. I'll go to Curly. Curly. He's hit it up. He's just gone over the 50 meter oh, line. Finds his front hard. again and on the fourth they're going to have a shot here. Down the right edge. Dylan Carter got Inside. He looks All right, well the Polkets have got their back line set. Looks like they Will are they go to the air this time? Let's have a look at the kick pressure. That's that's going to show the attitude and it's pretty poor. Yeah. And, it's coming, and it's coming and it's coming backwards. backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's got caught up in there. Play on that oh, could go anywhere. They've let it bounce. Yeah. O'Reilly takes it. And he beats one, beats yeah. two. Oh, Benny Riley. Shane Brown, captain. Well, it's not a bad spot to start their set here, UTS. Let's see how they respond with their attack. They look to start to get a roll. UTS should be trying to push this big pack around. Solid D again. Solid D on the number 40 there. On already. All right. That was just silly. He went on with that. He didn't need to. Now this is giving UTS his first. They've invited him in the edge. They've invited him into their end here, Polecats, and that's just what you can't do on a windy day like this. You want to spend as much time down the other end as you can. And Now this is probably uh, UTS's first attacking opportunity. Let's see what they throw at him. Yeah. They can't, they can't get 
They're getting sucked in here, uh, the Polecats. They're getting into that bash and barge style of footy. They need to put that away and really focus on making their tackles. And UTS thrive on that uh, 1v1 contact. And they've gone left and they've... Hunters dropped it over the sideline. It's been an absolute horror start for UTS. Polecats have led them back with a couple of chances Ooh. here, but they've just... They're just not capitalising on any of their chances. One thing, so. one thing that's in uh, UTS' favour, they're making that error down this end, Rob, so um, that's not a bad thing for them. It, they obviously wanted it, should have, should have got the full set in there, but they're down the right end of the field. UTS need to start winning it with their D, though. Their, their D so far, line speed's going backwards. And these big boppers from Polcats, they're just getting them on the front foot. Too fast, too big, too strong. Curly takes it from the back of the screen. That's probably not the best option, but he'll play the ball 10 out from his own line. Let's see how they muscle up here, the UTS uh, Wanderers. Marcel Curry takes it up to the 20. Arona again. Jeezy's he's been good early. The big bopper, he's got him on the front foot again. They'll go to this left edge, I'm pretty sure. They go to Willie, Willie to Shime. Shime. Shy. Shy's found Ricky oh. again. Mate, this left edge, I'm telling you, I'd be going again. I'd be going again. Yeah, yeah and Brownie does. Yeah, Brownie. He just scooted. That was smart play. Didn't pass it on. And then you just got to get to your kick here. Got to get to your kick. Put it up again. Put it deep and long. Can they go deep and long? He knows he's into the wind. Oh, that's, that's a perfect cool. kick. No, that's, that's great. Cool. Oh. Great kick. Oh, no. No, it is a good kick. Oh, I thought it was going dead there. Great kick. Didn't look great, but it uh, got the perfect result. That'll just wind a bit of the clock down. Jeez, who's this big fella coming on? Oh, is that to Ali? Yeah. Wow. He's a monster. I'd say he'll be coming on for... Let's have a look. Well, maybe... Um, I'd say it might be Brucey. He might yeah. be going on in the front row for Bruce, but... Bruce had a couple of good hit-outs out of our, out of our uh, red zone. He's definitely... Uh, all the polecats have definitely been making metres. And, uh, and Dean up in defence too, Dan. Yeah, they're doing well, mate. So far, so good. I think uh, you've got to keep rolling the subs. And you've got a big pack like the polecats do... You really got to keep rolling these subs. Unlimited in change. Let it play in your favour. Just keep coming with monsters every set as they try to work out of their end. Oh, the Polkets just meet them and they've oh, driven them back a couple of metres. Outstanding start. Oh. This is what, this is what, oh he's kicked gone, early. Kicked early. Interesting trying, kick. Oh. And this kid's quick. Yeah, Johnny Hunter's is. coming down. But ben Faye Moto. Have it. Outstanding oh, work. Oh, no. Offside. 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 It'll be a penalty. Well... It's, it's better than a try, and he, he responded well there, Famoto. Very, very interesting tactic with the win. Dargan kicks long for Hunter. Forces the error, and like I said, Rob, it's all about field position, where you spend most of your time, and UTS know they need to, they need to complete this one if they want to uh, put any pressure onto the Polecats. They'll walk to the scrum, though. They'll soak up a bit of the clock here. They're definitely, um, it's definitely... Um, a good ploy from UTS. He is very quick out there. L last week against Sydney Uni, he scored. He made about four or five breaks down the left edge. He just kept on running around Sydney Uni all day. So he's got the speed, and they're trying to utilise it. They, they were stuck in their red, they were stuck in their own uh, zone, and they couldn't get out. And uh, a smart play from the UTS. Um, this kid look. Back. This kid looks alright too, Robbie. The three, uh, Mika Vaki Leon. Very strong uh, runner yeah, of the they, ball. They've looked to set right. They've coming out to the right hand side. Let's see what the Polkats defence is like. See how well they can change. They're going to push him pairs up there. Oh, they're going down the short side. Riley. Oh, oh. LJ with his second error of the day. Uh, not having a good day. Usually he's so solid, but in this first half, in the first 15 minutes, him. he's knocked on twice. I do not know why he's not playing fullback, Rob. He's probably the best fullback in the comp. Yeah, they've stuck him on this right edge at centre. Yeah. He looks it out. Of feels, it feels... Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like a bit of a waste. They've got uh, who they're playing at the back. Brock Brock Party, I think, is at the back. Um, yeah, you, you know he you know he's going to turn it on at some point of the day. Um, well, if he gets into the open space, you could you could definitely see uh, you can see the Polecats will have to do a lot to stop him. Same with Hunter out on the wing. There. Looks like they might be getting a penalty here, UTS, after a bit of follow on after the the knock on. Or maybe the ref will just call it down. Yeah, just tell them. The cool a penalty, heads. a penalty to UTS will be costly here for the Polecats. I think they they're down on their end. No, it's definitely just a cool down message. Just take it easy. Just play footy, boys. That's what we're here to do. Yeah, it's a grand final. We all know that. But you've got to, um, you know, if you get into the niggle, it'll just penalties will flow all day, and it will either be one side or the other. Scrum to Polecats. 
I think it was smart, smart just try and settle it down. Let's just play footy out there, enjoy the day, and um, see who comes on top at the end. Hopefully it's the Polecats. I'm, I'm like hoping that way. <laughs> How about you, Dan? Yeah, it'd be, it would be nice. Uh, All right, big oh, Isaac Talili. Good start by the fresh man. Yeah. Gets to his front. Look at that. That's what you got to do. Get to your front. Matty Thomas will have a scoot here. Off got to use his speed. Oh. Met in the wall of <laughs> on the left hand there. Sharpen him up. Take it back. Don't Marcel, play it. Yeah, here we go. Marcel now. Marcel, That's all right. Field. That's all right. That's good from the Polka. That's three tackles. Moving up to the 30. You just got to get out of their end. Arona will get him on the front foot again. Look. Oh, look at BJ. Up he goes. And he's been impressive That's early for a big fella. They've got to go to this left edge. They're, in, they're all offside. Yeah. Kicks early. Not the kick he wanted. No, Bob. But, but bounce gets a good result. Ball. And he'll get a kick on. Brocky Party will bring it out Look from his end. Five, oh. five he's, over, he's forgot the he's long sprigs. The oh, and he's got an offload. Here we go. All right, now the Polkats have just got to work in defence here and just drive him back. Fullback back now, I can notice. Hunter's it's got the ball. He's looking for a quick scoop. Met by Ricky it. and Shy. As we go, they go left. And uh, the, one, the Wanderers pack just... Not making inroads at all. I, I don't see where where they're going to get any anywhere on the front footy, Robert. Well, if the pole gets offloads do help. Yep. As Tommy Windit yep. takes it up, Windit will look Tommy to offload. Yep. Goes to Brady Webb. Webb will dance. He'll get pulled down. They've got to kick long here. They've got to kick early. I think Tully will probably kick out a dummy half here. I think. Yeah, he's got no. The ball. no he's they go to Dargan. Dargan will hit the edge. Left. They're looking to find their speedman out wide. That's going to be a forward pass. Brocky forward Party field. gets away to Hunter. Hunter, he'll, he'll be taken out here surely. Up. Surely, no. Oh, good defense out good there D. by Matty Thomas. Last tackle. Marcel. They're oh. pointing to go up. They want to go high and long to the uh, to the right edge here. Dargan puts up a an awkward looking kick. Oh, oh great well take. Done by Risky. And he's Papali. Taken, taken. Oh no, he's lost the ball. Oh. Right, what's he What's he going to call here? He's, call he's got to call something. He's got to make a decision. Oh, he's going to go to the video. <laughs> a double knock. Oh, on. he's called knock on Polcats. Into the other, I think he's, yeah, knock on Polcats into UTS. And now the UTS go on the attack again. This, is, this, is, this will have to be their best chance yet of getting across the line. It was a good, well, I thought it was a good take from here, but it looks like he's think, bobbled on the floor. I think UTS are just, I think the Polcats here, they've just got to really focus on winning it in their defense. If they can hold them out here, that could break the back of the uh, UTS Wanderers. Uh, ball's been called back in correct play. I don't know how you're getting correct play these days of the scrums that they feed these days. I think, I, think, I think someone actually tried to contest that scrum. That's why they had to call it back. It's a waste of time. <laughs> scrum in the middle play. of the field. So they've got both options. Will they go left or right? They'll go left. Dargan. Wind at the decoy. Brocky party. Yeah. Nothing on out there. He goes back to the middle. Looked off I think, I th that's, I think that's all they've got, Rob. I think they've got, to, they've got to trust on their offloads and go offloading to Brady Webb. Inside ball for Marshall Boyd. Taken down. On they that left edge. They're definitely not winning in the uh, forward battle against the Polkett, so they're looking to go wide. That's the thing. Down this end, Tully looks to offload. That line speed off the line, outstanding by the Polkett. Can they last two more tackles here? Brady Webb goes away. O'Reilly, long ball, LJ. Party. Party offloads, LJ, there he is. There he is. We knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to come good for him. He doesn't, la he doesn't play poorly for too long, and he's got that great offload by Party. Started with an inside ball off LJ. LJ back to par Party. Party then to LJ again. Well, it was um, a well-structured try from the UTS. They, uh, they definitely had been working for that. They, I wouldn't... I would, they've identified as a, a weakness well in I, their minds. I wouldn't even say structured there, Rob. I think that was just a bit of razzle-dazzle. It was a, keeping the ball alive. And, and that's probably what um, the Polecats have struggled with so far. The offloads, the, the against-the-grain sort of plays. and um, That's all right, though. They... they, they they had plenty of ball there the last five to ten minute period, the Wanderers, so well, they'll, they'll uh, bounce back. They'll look to kick their, um, their kicker. He's, he's, he's struck him well all year, UTS, have, um, but in this win, it could go anywhere. Let's see what he can do. Not a bad little player, Brady Webb. Uh, he tells me he's retiring at the end of the year at the tender age of 21, so <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Body's just given up on him, he says. So, um, And he's straight back, lines it up. Well, there's 15 to go, and the, uh, the, this kick will put, bring them into two. It's uh, costly two, two uh, four points at the pole fence. You know they're never going to go away, Rob. As bad as they started the UTS with their, uh, UTS with their attack, that they're never going to go away. And I think a little bit of worrying signs for the Polecats if this uh, halftime score is very close. Yeah, definitely. 
Definitely, it'll be definitely the fitter side that will uh, run away in the end. And he's trucked that pretty he's well. He's tucked it left. Uh, he's missed it. So uh, still four points in it. With uh, 14 to go. Goal kicking seems to be quite tough out there today. Windy, con windy conditions here at Belmore. The temperature's just going up a notch uh, once that wind stopped for two seconds. Do you think UTS will continue to uh, go to the uh, edges a lot? I think so. I think that's where they've got to go, but they've got to use their speed, man, and they're, they're doing it well so far. Um, I think Polcats need to keep up that line speed, try and limit the time. Here we go. They go run. The old run around play. Curly just in typical Curly fashion just swamped him. Yep. <laughs> Read it like a book as Windit gets him on the front foot. Windit uh, feels like he's playing front row, Rob. That's 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 what it, that's what I'm getting from the from the UTS Wanderers. It, very light in the pack. They definitely are. That's what that's what um, hitting these edges. It's it's not the UTS of old with a big pack and a big lot of mongrel. Yeah. Long ball for Windit. Windit. Oh, he's met well out it's there. It's a good little battle out there, actually. Wind Winded and uh, Thomas. That, that could have been a penalty. Oh, they're going high. That could bounce anywhere if he lets it. No, he's got it on the no, floor. Well Faymoto. And starts his set off brilliantly. Look at him go. Look at him. He's, he's through. He beats, beats another. Oh, he's still going. He's back over the half. He's just on his chest. He's still going. He Is he going to go again? No. Oh, he's got to play it. Call back to play it. Hurry up and play it. Yeah, don't lose that Cyrus man. Murray back from a fractured skull. Takes it to the line. Oh, this is just a well-deserved rest for the UTS. Uh, typical, uh, uh, typical fashion. Wasn't in the play at all, but I yeah. guess you know, health, the health and welfare of the players is uh, paramount these days with the ref. Yeah. Looking like he's they're checking him out. For typical Ben O'Reilly fashion. There, you just milk the time. He knows they're under under the pump a little bit. Time's still ticking away. But that was a definitely amazing start from. Uh, Big Ben, he's taken it on about the twenty, and he's run thirty meters. He's, he's only had one little hick, one little hiccup with that uh, kick he chased back, saved a try, but lost the ball. But other than that, he's been outstanding. His carries have been fantastic so far. Yeah. Uh, looks like they're just going to take him off. Ben That's off. a tactical sub, I think. Ooh, the twenty-six. Is, yeah, the twenty-six is on. John Halalis. Halias. Looks like he can't tackle, so I'll probably go to this left edge again, <laughs> I'd say. That could be a big loss, though. Ben O'Reilly, he's, he's a seasoned professional. Uh, yep, he's been around the tough. UTS for a long time. Uh, mentally, he's very tough, so... All right, Cyrus tips it on to... Oh, Arona. Arona will go oh, through here. He's busted three or four. Someone's got to be up his ass there, though, Rob. Someone's got to be following him. Yeah, Murray oh, again. Murray Second carry of the, of the set. And here we go, left edge. Look at this go. Watch his poetry in motion. Willie to the there. line. Short I'll ball for Fui Maono. And you go left again. Just run it here. They'll score. If they run it, they'll score. Go to Willie. Here we go. Little little grubber. And Ricky Try Willie time. Is over. No, he's called knock on, and that'll be a 20 tap. That's actually a crucial call. That is a crucial call. And he's called time off again. Oh. Wow. Oh, LJ is down. Mm. Their main attack weapon, weapon here is not in a good way. Looked to be taken out on the way through. I don't think he was taken out. I think he just got in the way. Copped a knock, yeah. So that's an interesting, uh, not, not looking good for UTS. Uh, like he said, their edges are their go-to. and uh, He's a big weapon for them if he has to come off. But I'm, I'm telling you, Rob, this left edge for um, this left edge for the Polecats, geez, they'd look good in Windsor Colours next year. <laughs> you just keep away from me, <laughs> mate. <laughs> geez, they'd look good. And both Willie brothers actually played at Windsor 2016 in the Ron Massey Cup. So the oh, they're just attending. Pun? Nah, it's all. Yeah, it's just here for me. So a long delay here, probably suiting the, the Polecats, to be honest. So the light pack of the UTS, so they'll, they'll be ready to go. The big boppers from Polly's just sucking them in. Just a couple of pensioners in the middle there, Cranny and um, Curly. They'll be loving this rest. 
Like I said earlier, Curly 48 today. He's playing his <laughs> 500th game. Craney's playing his 700th game. Um, <laughs> they, they, like the, they just never die. They, they brag about Cameron Smith at 400. Look at these two boys still going. I mean, I mean you know, there's, there's over 100 years worth of football there. Oh, mate. It's, the experience is second to none. And throw in a couple of these young boys. Plenty of skill. Oh, it looks like uh, Luke Johnson is oh, being taken from that the is, That is a big That's a there. massive blow. Um, unfortunately for LJ, um, that's a huge blow for them. And they've brought on Harry King back into the action. Yep. Now they'll have to shut Not a bad out. player, I think. Harry King's probably, probably their go-to in the pack. Let's see what they can do. They've had a good break here. Trav Cascano is absolutely monstered. <laughs> oh, the poor boy. He's still going as well. Yeah, Big he's Trav. Been he's been around since the uh, Louis Shamal boy days, old Trav. He's as Tully takes football. it to the line, gets him, a, gets him a play the ball. I'd be kicking early here. Oh, oh that's, that's just, a pet. Oh, he's milked oh. it well. Brady Webb, that's clever. Matty Thompson just, just going, went a little bit early there. Not square. That's a dangerous penalty here for the Polecats. Been a bit of a break in play. Who's going to who's going to switch on and play footy first? That's a better touch finder by Darwin. They're taking a five into the pole. Well, they're probably going to use uh, Cuscana as a battering ramp here, I'd say. Yeah, here we go. And to Tommy Windet. Windet looks up. Oh, he's met and he's head jumped. Curly under curly the ribs, Jesus. Gets up and under the ribs. Webber hooker. Here we go, Cuscana. Oh, jeez. Oh, and he's knocked it off. Great pass. To shy, shy, to shy. back over the half. I tell you what, the Polkats are making meters every time they have the ball. Here we go onto Ricky, Ricky Willie. Oh. Oh, just charges onto that one. What I wouldn't mind seeing from the Polkats here. What, oh, this could go other way. He's held it. I, I wouldn't mind seeing the the boys. Oh, oh Jesus! Cranny's into a bit of space. Jeez! <laughs> Winding back the clock, as they say. My knees are starting to feel good. I might get the boots on in the second <laughs> half. That was straight through from Cran. Here, here goes Arona. What I wouldn't mind seeing from the Polecats is a bit more push when they go through the through the middle. Yeah. Bit more push support. Here comes the big oh, on Isaac. The big seven foot giant out there. Now Cranny's coming off for a well deserved break. He's just played twenty five minutes, and he's looking to have a. Here we go, run. Willie. Long ball for Shine. Shine. Oh, Ricky, and it's try time. Oh no, Papali. Just wasn't the cleanest. It was pass. actually three on one there. Three on one. They got on the outside. They need to not go away from that, that left edge. I'm telling you, Rob, mate, as a coach, DC will be right into him, get to the post, have a crack at that left edge two or three times every set. Like I said, in attack, they've just got to push up the middle a little bit more. Yeah. As soon as Arona or Shy take it up the middle, I'd be getting Cyrus just to follow up the middle or yeah, or even it. even Famoto just up their ass. Even even Kiri's out there now as well, so Kiri will, is a good support player. Yeah, Someone will. needs to be up, the, up their ass and really getting in there. Looking for support because they'll score plenty of points up the middle, especially in the second half. Here we are. Well, then UTS has slipped over. They'll, they'll, they'll be lucky to get to the halfway line in this set. They, they, they look shot. And if and if the Polecats can muscle up and really mince them in this set, uh, I think this this could define the UTS's game here. Yeah, definitely. They, they go to the left. Oh, looks like a bit of a bobble. Harry King. Another tough carry by yeah. King. Dargan Dug, wants the ball. I think he's going to kick it. Oh, no. Oh, well. well, that's just a begged penalty. And they've they begged for one, the UTS uh, Wanderers, and they've got it. It definitely wasn't smart play. The Polecats had him pinned down. They hadn't even got to the 30 on the third. They got, a little, bit, they got a little bit too... Uh, they wanted that slow play of the ball. They just tried a little bit too hard there, the Polecats. They should have just let them have two or three quick ones, got to a kick, and jam it down their throat again. And now here they come. Oh, he's ducked his head there. Yeah, not, not the smartest way to run. They need workers in the middle here. Dargan. They try to go wide. King Ooh, again. King, he oh. is running hard for you. For, he, 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 like I said, he's their go-to in the middle. If they go to this edge, they've got a chance here. Dargan yeah. bops, chops. This is, this, is, this is what's troubling uh, the Polecats, Rob. When they're going back into the ruck, yeah. looking for offloads, back in against those middle forwards who are getting a little bit tired. Like Aron has been out there 30 minutes now. He's... He's starting to tie. He's starting to walk. Here they go. Oh, party. Party somehow gets an offload away. Go, Tori. Oh, yeah, Will, Willie's just dragged him over the line like a rag doll. Uh, sh shades of Talis Hodgson there. <laughs> Hodge, Hodge actually here earlier today coaching the uh, jersey flag for the Tigers. 
Tell you what, when the Pol the Polkats have let UTS in several times, but then their defence has just monstered them every time, and they're just not getting anywhere. It's only the silly mistakes, the penalties, the piggybacks that are letting uh, UTS get field position. So they're just packing the scrum now. Six minutes left in the half. We've dropped a fullback back for this uh, for this scrum. Interesting play. Maybe they think uh, similar tactics. Well, I dare say they're worried about uh, Big Ben. He seems to slice their line to pieces every time he takes the ball. Might take uh, six minutes just to pack this scrum the way it's going. <laughs> Fire out. Just the, the scrum clock has definitely stopped. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're away. All right. Matty Thomas takes it for a little scoot. Up over, he's just made it to the 40. Nice little run from there. Cyrus looking, he needs to pick up the ball. He's got it. He's going for a scoot. He's got a oh, here back. we go. Brother of Luke. <laughs> Brother of Luke. Look Brother at him go. Oh, outstanding run by Ben Kiri. Yeah. Injecting himself in this uh, first half. Now. They look to try and slow. They just can't slow him down. They need three or four. If he can just get that offload. Big body like that, Rob. You've got to flip him. If you don't flip him, you're in trouble. He's going to get a quick play of the ball. Alfred Iver now got the ball. But look at the metres the Polcat makes. The Polcats make compared to the UTS. It's going down the right, and they switch it back. Tarili, oh look at him go! Jeez, he's big. That looks like a crusher. <laughs> no, nah, play on. I'd just be running it here. Yeah, I'd here be running go. it, Rob. Left edge, here shift, shift, shift. Oh, Willie will go again. Still alive. Oh, good work by UTS to clean that up. Probably not. Probably not the depth he wanted to. Let's see how they go. Line speed. They've got oh, nothing good here. Tackle. They've got Ricky. nothing here. John Hunter's e easily topping their meters. He's the only one taking carries for him. As they go they, again, geez, they're muscling up here, the Polecats. They're definitely, they're definitely here to, to stop them. Murray. Don't know what position Cyrus is playing, but geez, he's getting in there and he's working hard. They go to the left. They're trying to shift away from the Polecats here. Party, long ball. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. From in in they've been here. forced to go wide here. Matty Olsen will be having a word with them. Uh, at halftime, I'm pretty sure just you got to go forward before you can go sideways in any type of football. They definitely, they definitely don't seem to get the uh, meters when their forwards are taking it up. They haven't gone anywhere. They've just been met by a wall of the polecats in the middle, and they're um, they're looking to shift left or shift right. And that time, it sometimes it's paid off for them, but this time it definitely isn't. And the oh. polecats have got great field position, taking it 45 out. Uh, with uh, three and a half left on the clock. This is a big set for the Polecats. A massive chance, you'd think, on this left edge again, Rob. Um, well, they've, def they've had a chance to cross the line four times. And uh, a knock-on on, on a, Thomas. Uh, and over the sideline. Mate, look at, look, at, look at this left edge. Just have a crack. Just have a crack. Faye Moto, out, been outstanding this first half. They'll go back to the middle here. Shane Brown will tip for the middle. Get him on the front. Yeah, that's the way. The big bopper again, just shrugging blokes off. This is where he needs support. He needs support up the middle. He needs support up the middle. Uh, and the I'd be down again. Might have to have it. King. Well, if he goes on, he's all right. No, he's okay. He's limped out of it. Look at him stacking this. This they're stacking this edge. You've got to go straight at Harry King now. He's holding his shoulder. Blood bin for uh, the big bopper, Alfred. Alfred Iver. Iver. He'll go out the back. They're just gonna. Yeah, they're gonna Bruce. chuck Brucey back on. Not a bad move. No. No point. No point just sitting him out the back. Just get him off. Quick change. He's definitely been making three every minutes. Time he's had it, he's, he's three minutes. You got to go, at Harry King here. Tory Willie yeah. will identify that, I think. As a Rona oh, takes right. it to the try time. It's try it's time. Over. It's try it's time. Over. Don't worry about the, the left three. edge. <laughs> oh wow. Now this. Uh, That's embarrassingly easy for the Polecats there, Rob. Yeah. I, I, They've, they've packed this left edge, and then Arona just, he's been their best this first half in the middle, and he's just steamrolled straight through him. Definitely. A couple of players down, there. though, in the back play. Um, he, he's hit a hole the size of the heads of, of Sydney, and they didn't know. The left, the left, the two left, uh, the left centre and the left winger went up, and met he him, just hit that hole. I met him before kickoff, Rob. I didn't think he'd fit through any holes, but geez, he's <laughs> fit through that one very easily. Wow, what a try. Oh, well, the big boy, the, the skipper, and that this could take us to half time. And if they very crucial kick here, if they can kick this 16-4 half time break, well, Rob time, better get the update on Facebook. Yeah, mate. that definitely will do. Um, but we've got uh, Dylan Carter's going to have a kick. I think he's what everyone everyone's getting the kick. Yeah, today. last game of the year, DC's let them know that uh, share share the kicking around. Let everyone try and uh, that hasn't scored a try, score a try. Great try. And 
very vocal uh, Polecats crowd in the behind behind me. Uh, pretty big crowd starting to roll in, Rob. It'd be about f- 65 people here. It's not bad. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 oh, no, sorry. No, 165. Can we get a shout-out yeah. to all the Polecats? Oh, wouldn't it? it definitely seem to be uh, little clusters of people, but everyone's here. Everyone's here to support their families. So you can see the... Uh, Polecat side on the, on the right there, looking good. And Still time UTS off, and that's another injury for the UTS Wanderers, and not what you want to see. You don't want injuries, but that that bench is looking depleted here, Rob. Something half two to go. Here we go, Dylan Carter. We're still waiting, so there's plenty of uh, time here. It's Tommy Windet too. If they lose Windet and LJ, he's going to have to tough this out, Windet. If he comes off and LJ's off, you're going to find it very, very hard. He's up on his feet. Will he, will, he, will he continue? No. No, he's coming. He's coming from the field. and That could be a huge loss for the UTS. They're already down in, on numbers on, on troops. They've lost LJ. They've lost uh, Harry King. Doesn't look in a good way. And now there are uh, another strike weapon for them. Tommy Windet is um, def- it's coming off. Especially being their skipper. Tommy's coming off. Not good for them. They've had to make so many positional changes with um, the uh, their first string players coming off. Dan, what do you think, Matty Olsen will be thinking at half time? Well, I think he'll be calling as many people as he can to try and get some more players because they're they're looking thin on the bench. Uh, yeah, it's going to be going to be hard for him. He's going to need an inspirational speech at half time to get him back on the field. Looks like uh, who's returning? O'Reilly returning, and that looks like it might be. By the sounds of it, Tommy's day done, and we've got a kick. We got a goal. Oh, All right, we've got Carter. Carter has converted. He might be taking the kicks from now on. I'd say so, but it's not his turn next. Actually, Rob, someone else's <laughs> turn next if they score again. So um, well, I've got the chocolate wheel out the back to spin it to see who gets yeah. the next kick. All right, minute thirty on the clock. And UTS is definitely not. In uh, they're gonna way, they're gonna go long here, I think, and hope and just hope hope to defend out a set, but. I wouldn't even be surprised if we see another Polecat try here. They're, they're up. Their confidence is skyrocketing. This could, go, this could go dead on the four. It's going, going, going. No. Oh, well, Ty- Tyler Longmire is in. Just tuck it in and run, mate. Look at it. Oh, that's a great run. Great run by Longmire. Look at him in. He's yelling at him in the tackle. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... I've got, I got $2 on the try here just before half-time, Rob. Oh, that'll, that'll break the UTS uh, Wanderers as they look to roll up the field again. Willie goes to the five, middle. Faymoto, he'll probably go through himself. Ooh, we got bent back a bit. That looked uncomfortable. Willie's man. getting into first receiver here. I like what I see. Shane Brown. Oh, Willie. Tory. Tory Willie still offloads. Oh, found Dylan. Dylan's on to. Brucey. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. They're going to score here, Rob. I've, I can feel it. Here we go. I'd be running it. I'd be shifting it. I'd be shifting it. I'd keep it coming. Here we go. Shine. Shy passes on. Shine, oh, I'll go through. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, he's oh, got he's it out the back, Willie. Oh no, oh, no! Oh, Should have kept it in his hands. Oh. Should have kept it in the hands. That'll take us to half time, though. Yeah, One more tackle. No one's going to want to take this hit up, but it looks like it's going to be Harry King. He does not want it, but he's going to get it. Oh, and I would take the point. two. Would you, Rob? No, from no, there yeah. with the breeze. <laughs> it could definitely make it. Polka yeah, seem to be walking off the field, but they have still got one more tackle to play. Definitely going to put a kick in or something silly. Um. You can see Marcel and Ben's already pushed back. No one's going to want to take this carry. Oh, they oh they've tapped it and kicked it out. That's a weak move. But anyway, uh, 14-4, half time. Uh, Polecat's in a very good position, uh, demanding position so That's far. That's a great start for them. So we're going to take a little break and we'll see you in the second half. Go the Polecats.
Welcome back, Dan. Yeah, welcome back. Second half here, Robbie. One set to go. 35 minutes. Could have been a lot more for the Polkins. They've had they've spilled some chances and they've let UTS in uh, with a lot of chances of their own. It's more of a crosswind now, so we're wind blowing towards the bench. So official says it's time to kick off, and here we go. Where we'll kick straight into the wind. We'll hang it up there. Hang it up there. Who's under it? It's hard to rule. They've got almost some communications. Oh, Ooh. Bruce takes it. Steps. I don't know about you, but UTS just seemed down on energy. The yeah, they, they look depleted, and Polkas just need to stay up. 35 more minutes. You're not going to win a penalty with this bloke. Jeez. Penalty count, 9-1. Uh, <laughs> it actually is, Rob. 9-1 uh, penalty counts wow. to, the, to the Wanderers. And um, the message at halftime is, don't get, don't get stuck into their shit. Diesel will just find just his front again. Easily been the best out there so far for the front rowers. Now, Looking them all offside. Gee whiz. Good little kick. This could be a 40-20. 40-20. Oh. oh. As I go to Brocky Party. Party will burn the first one, will he? No, he'll skip. He'll step. scored all their tries. Oh, look, oh, that's that looked like a knock-on. It's gone back, says the ref. Dargan oh. takes it to the line, and he's just monstered by four or five. Three, three pole catch just monstering him. Tully has a look. <laughs> Had a big oh, old look Tully's there, Tulls. His head's gone down. Now. He'd be he's rattled. Vocal and he's yeah, he's, he's, face, this, he has, it's just he's not his day, Rob. It's, it, I think he's, he's lacking support around him, and it's really showing. Really showing. Where are UTS are going to find what they need to get over the Polkats here? I don't know. They've just, they're just they not in the game. Their head's not in the game. They've been bashed from the start. Yeah, they've, sure, they've lost some key players in their probably yeah. two best strike weapons in Windit and LJ. Hey, um, I don't know if they're... Uh, uh, they're You've got Faymoto at first receiver. He's just going to start the set off. He's just, oh, no. Bad ball by Curly. Tory Willey with feet. With feet again. Takes four or five guys to get him down. Brownie goes into dummy half. Oh. oh, it's a pole cat. No. What do you do here, Rob? Do you take the two, make it 12, or do you just kick for touch and just drive it into them? You'd, you'd, you'd think in the position They'll keep the are. pressure on. I'll definitely with the cross when they do a hard kick. Yeah, you, you just take them on here. Uh, tap and go. Tap and go. Looks like he's here, Brownie. Brownie's got the ball in his hand. He's going to tip it. He's tipped it on to Bruce. Bruce, he he's takes it up. Nice Tully, first man up. He's trying to he's make trying in, Yeah, he's trying to, trying to inspire here. Oh, they're going to get another penalty. Look at oh, those three markers. Man. Curly takes it to the line. That's another nice it's still not. A, it's still not as much push as I'd like to see off the ball. When someone takes it, I just want to see some push off the ball. Carter to the line. Shows, goes. Pulled down, 20 out. Big chance here for the Polecats to score. Arona. Arona. They've got He's numbers got on him. Tips it on to Shy. Shy. Now they've got to go left. Try time here. Tory Willie. Good position here for a, Here we go. Tory Willie short ball. Oh, they've gone to the right. Short ball Cranny. for Cranny. He steps his all. He's 10 out. They've, they've got to run it. You've got to run it, I think. You just seen, Do you go you short seen. to Dorona? They've gone short. Arona. Try oh, time Maddie for Matty Thomas. Thomas. Oh, take it. Yeah. Matty Thomas He's is over. over. Matty Thomas scores. Thought he bombed it there, Rob. I thought he bombed it, but he's actually held him off. Got it down in the corner. The ref has given it, and that's a try for the Polecats. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that on the scoreboard. Big TRY coming up. <laughs> wow. Wow, I thought he blew it because he looked like he got held up, and he just, it was, looked like he was heading to the sideline, but he monstered his way. Uh, Matt Thomas. <laughs> now, Big support group up there for Matty Thomas. Well done, Matty Thomas. Now we've got the skipper he coming off. Himself. I would have dove in that position, but <laughs> he Mate. just said, no, so I'm just going to drive just... my way over the line. <laughs> <laughs> and the one lonely New South Wales official is just giving the commentators heaps. He's, he's giving us shit and he's got no friends. Look at McLovin. I'm like, I think McLovin, it's time to come into the commentary. Come over here, McLovin. Where is it? Two photos. Where is it? Just here. Oh, yeah. Hey. What do you want to do? Yeah, you fly. 
Into the wind, Tory Willie moves in. Oh, he's very cash. Strikes it. It's coming back. It's coming back. Got the legs. Go. 20 to 4. 30 minutes. Yeah, he's been limping all game. He's just going to power through it. Doesn't look good for Willie. He's probably got to get through another 10 minutes here and then he can get a rest. I think one more try. A runner. Big Bob Guess Lennox is into the commentary. <laughs> Guess the set stuff. Out here. At You're on. It's on, yeah. At the beautiful Belmore Oval, minus three degrees. Um, score is now 20 to four in favour of Polecats. Taking the ball up. Referee's having a good game. Doesn't look left or right, so he's going pretty good out here. Here goes young Cyrus. Oof. Wasn't expected to play for the rest of the year, but it's come back well. Here's Curly. Curly, there's not much brains in that head, but he keeps going. Making inroads here, the podcast. I look to put it up in the wind, I reckon. <laughs> it's gone up. This looks like it's going out in the full into the crowd, actually. It's a, not, the, not the end of the set that they wanted, the, the podcast. Brady Webb's limping off now. They're, they're, they're running out of troops. That's their three best off. Oh, really? Where's Barry? He was meant to be playing, wasn't he? Another injury. Harry King down. Yeah, he goes good. He <laughs> yeah, no, he's a good, good player. This will be the seventh injury for UTS. Oh, eighth. They've just got another one as well. O'Reilly again, I think, on that far right side. It's looking like a war zone for the team in red. It's, uh, oh, he's in he's a lot of pain. I can hear him screaming from here. Well, definitely, they've definitely been wandering to the sideline, the old Wanderers. That's all they've been doing, oh, yeah. back and forth. O'Reilly looks to be in a fair bit of pain over there. It looks like a knee or a shin. And Harry's coming off with a shoulder. Marshall Boyd into the game. Big Marsh. NRL development officer. Yeah, can we? And they've... Oh, the ref's calling for the stretcher. Not a good sign for the Wanderers here. I've Oops. just was over the bench. There's one person on the bench, and it's LJ, and I don't think he's in any uh, shape to... No, he won't be back. Uh, looks like you know, looks like Trav might have to go on here. Cuscano. He, he's getting ready. There's definitely... Uh, there's definitely they've just, they've Could definitely use Dane Horn running the water today. Uh could have definitely used him today. Polcats just trying to stay warm out there. The, uh, the, the worst thing for the Polcats so far has been a bleeding nose for uh, Alfred Ivor. And um, uh, Tory's got a bit of a limp, but he's still out there. He's still dancing and uh, causing a lot of havoc for the UTS. He is, he, he's side. You, 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 can't, you can't put a finger on any bad players for the Polcats, Rob. They've all put in. They've all, uh, they've all done their jobs. And UTS just... They're going to struggle to get back in this contest, especially with depleted, uh, a depleted squad. Well, they, they need a bit of luck too because it's, it's well, all... Where is this stretcher? Right? Because this is it's getting colder by the second. <laughs> Somebody get the stretcher. Yeah. Well, we might make a little break while we're waiting for the stretcher and uh, just uh, get a little bit warmer. Yeah, 100%.
Oh, Ben O'Reilly. It looks he looks he's in a bad way. He's in a bad way. He's um looks to be knee or ankle. Probably knee, I'd say. Yeah. So he definitely it may know, even be an ACL ball. there, Rob. Yeah. Oh no, it's shin, shin. He's, he's you know what the struggling <laughs> thing is? You know, the sad thing is the trainers just seem to don't know how to carry. <laughs> Let me walk. Oh, and they've brought him back into the game. Yeah. This is his chance, Helius. Helius. Now, Polkats just can't get too confident now because otherwise they... Um, that stoppage in play, if if Wanderers are next to score, Rob, it's, it's, a, it's a danger. And they kick early again. Kick's good, but Feimoto's got it. He'll beat one. No, he won't get pulled down. They've got, to, they've got to win it with their D, I'm telling you now, Rob, and I don't think it's going to happen as Murray looks Murray, to be getting sorry. minced here. Oh, he's ducked his head in there. Back from a broken skull. Fantastic to see him out there in the big game. Under Curly. Curly. Oh, Curly. Oh, 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 the pirouette. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Now, now they'll go to Brucey. Just driving up the field. Him and Daniel as our two starting props have just been charging up the field. He's been pushed back a bit, but they're just hitting the ball with gusto. And oh, I'd be tipping going. on here. Offload. Oh, no. And the first time in uh, 70 minutes that they got him on his back. Brownie. Willie. Kicks kick. long. Looks like an awkward one, and he's going to let it bounce. Oh, he's going to kick on. on that is... That's a slow carry back, and he's going sideways, oh, and Thomas now he's going backwards. Through. And the pole gets it up and net him. That's, that's, that's the difference penalties now. Difference between the Polecats and the Wanderers. They're back three. That was just a, that was just a mosey on carry where you've got Feimoto, you've got Murray, you've got all these boys carrying the ball back with some gusto and getting them on the front foot. Oh, look at him. He's these wingers centers him. I don't know, Dan, what, what's going on with you? Well, no one wants to run it, Rob. They're, they're, I hate to say it in this at this level, but they look scared as the halfback takes oh, the line. Got a That's got to be a penalty. This is looking embarrassing, and it could get out of hand for the one. And he's going to take another carry. No, uh, Cascana. Oh, oh no, sorry, not Cascana. <laughs> John, John is. <laughs> it's, it's his opportunity. He's probably going to have to play the rest of the game, and a oh, lot of pressure on Dargan as he gets a kick away. Yeah, That's a good kick. It's inside forty. Oh, Cyrus, give, takes give, it. give. Oh, oh this play. is dangerous. Feimoto gets us on the front foot. And they start the set on the 40 after an embarrassing set by the UTS. Oh, no. Oh, oh stop trying to square the game up. He's got a foot on it. I would have let that go. The call from the three is stay calm. Uh, <laughs> is that from us or them? No, from them. <laughs> stay calm. I'll, I'll be, uh, well, there's still 25 minutes. So Ricky Willie looks to be cut again in that, that head. He's got it strapped heavily. Needs a bit of tape. Like he's be the uh, and the medical, the medical staff, Chris Thompson, um, he's probably never read a book in his life, and he's yeah, he's the medical man out there. It's, <laughs> you wouldn't want to go down with any serious injury, I'm telling you. <laughs> I oh, look at him! Pat, quick pat on the back and get the fuck back out there. And he's on. Yeah, into him, into him, Tomo. Look at him go! Look at, look at that. Oh, yeah, uh, he, he has. He's given the he's given the centre a struggle. <laughs> Wow! Tomo. Get him, get him a jersey. Get him a jersey. <laughs> Tomo wants to be out there. Now this is UTS's chance. Oh, Brocky party! The ball now, so this could be uh, like unless they they've got nothing to lose here, Rob. They're, they're, they're not going to get back in the game by thinking about it. They've got to do something. And I, um, like I said earlier in the piece, if they can just fro oh, he's just oh, ran he's around gonna him. Run. Gonna be a, oh, he's giving himself up too. <sighs> oh. When's he going to blow a penalty here this round? Well, I think the ref's just trying to square it up. It's like that junior game that you're winning by too many. and yeah. Oh, Curly's going low. Gets a bump, oh. offload. He's called six again. Gee whiz, this is... Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, I've UTS seen... Definitely letting UTS back I've in the seen, game. Yeah, I've, I've seen some poor refereeing in my time, but this would be up there. They go to Tully. Tully inside from Marshall like Boyd. Around. Like they're running around it because the actual UTS don't know where they want to be. In the They've got no idea, Rob. They're, they're lacking a leader out there. And oh, Not is that Hellius? No. <laughs> he does a good run. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate. Oh, uh, yep. Come and on. of course, just like clockwork, they're going to give him another one. Yep. They're getting involved in the push and shove here. Wouldn't surprise me if he sends someone for 10 just to square this game up a little bit. No, you're kidding me. I was only joking, ref. You've got to be kidding yourself, aren't you? What's he doing? He's, he's, he's let two. Well, he's go. given he's given Polecats a rest. 
Now what's UTS got to do? I'd say they're going to take the two here, Rob. <laughs> no, no, no. They're going to go for touch. They're going to keep the pressure on. Interesting move. I would have taken the points where he could get them. Yeah, they're not going to score, I don't think. Let's see, let's see the mental toughness here from the uh, Polkats. They hold this set out. This I'll is definitely game. Way. This is game over if they can hold it out here. Tully oh. gets absolutely minced, and they'll just get into the ground. Ten out. He's definitely having a better. Oh, he's having up, a go. Up. I'll tell you. His first oh, up. they've gone to ha Helios. <laughs> is it? He's like a little oh. jackrabbit. Oh, he is. Mate, this is his opportunity. Oh, they've gone to close to the line. Oh, wow. Well, strong defense on the pole. Amazing guys. defense by the polys. That's three. They've oh, gone again. Oh, no, John. He just loves that ball. He, he this looks like a game of union. They're just picking and rolling, <laughs> picking and rolling. <laughs> they have absolutely nothing here, the UTS it's Wanderers. Right, oh. right, on tonight, isn't it? They'll go wide, but this will be shut down pretty early. And oh, and a kick for no one. And there's a seven set. Oh, Murray <laughs> slips, luckily, because I think he was going to play at that. Yeah. And they'll get a 20 tap. You, you know Curly what? wants a rest. This is. Take a photo, because he just wants. Curly wants a rest. <laughs> Looks like they're going to get. Ro oh, no. He's coming off. He's coming off. It's the first time I've ever seen him after coaching him for three, four years. He doesn't like to I leave, does he? No. no. And, um, <laughs> you get abused. He's never asked for a rest, and if he didn't get asked for a rest, he would have looked uh, to kill someone. The war horse. He just keeps on going. He's like an energizer bunny. He keeps on going, going. 500 years playing the game. Oh, look at Ricky Wheelie. He takes the ball at sea. After two tackles, the Polecats are uh, pushing the 50. Brownie. Tully will get up uh, quick. Oh, that's smart play, bro. Uh, smart play, bro, Brownie. That's why you're captain. Shades right? of 2015 there, straight up the middle. Is a Clive suit. Churchill medal winner in the, the 2015. The and they're going to bring it around. In, 50 minutes into the match, and they are still sprinting on and off. They have come here to close this match out. Oh. Oh. oh, come on. And as the ref uh, has done all game, he's just uh, inviting them back into the contest again. I'll tell you what. Uh, if that's not a penalty, Rob, I'll oh. fucking eat my hat. He's just dead set, pushed him down. While he's trying to play, play it, ball. yeah. He's going for a quick poke ball too. It's, we've been mm. marching up the field, and um, yeah. Oh, he laid on him all forever, pulled his leg, pushed him down three times. Like you got to, they'll they'll kick here. They'll yeah. kick here for sure. Well, they've definitely got nothing. Oh no, they've uh, gone short side and oh long ball and LJ's back on there. Yeah. LJ's come from no. He's run around him again. Yeah. He's not in a good way. No, he's limping, but he, he knows he knows he can't finish on the bench and he. Credit to him where credit's due. Probably can't they because they don't have a bench. Yeah. Doesn't Tully matter. offloads. Oh, this is the danger. Good. This is the danger. That's going to be a penalty. Ah, uh, here we go. No. no he's. Oh. How about him trying to call I think for the ref, him. the reason he's blowing penalties is he can't keep quite quick, quite yeah. keep up with the game. He's looking Especially a bit unfit. The Polecats have him, have the ball. They definitely are. Here we go. They're spreading. Brock Party wide. sideways, 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 backwards, oh, sideways, backwards. sideways. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> to <laughs> Ali, driven into the ground. Well, they've made 0 0.5 metres here, and Dargan chips, Dargan chases. Is he going to get the bounce? No. Oh, Iriski, right. Great, great oh. take by Iriski, but one-on-one, -on -one and he's held onto the ball. Rob, the back five have been outstanding for the podcast. Oh. They're doing the job. And he's Ricky Willie. Really. Going for a quick spell. Ben Carter. Ben Carter into the game. Polcat legend. Uh, <laughs> ben Carter. Uh, speaking of lots of games, uh, Benny Carter playing his 600th. Um, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, game, tertiary yeah. game. Down the short side, Kiri wants it short side. He wants to go at LJ. Brownie's going. No, off he's always going left. Yeah, the skipper's off. Well, this is smart. He's he's put a lot of. He, he's changed all that up. Hopefully, he hasn't take, won't take away too much of the momentum. They still got Willie out there, and that's that's it. That's. We got both Willies. Oh, oh, and shine through. He's away again. Try time here. He's got oh, the He's called it back. <sighs> Did look a little bit forward, unfortunately. He just what went a little bit late there, Shy. To get a trick in this game, Dan. Well, that was definitely forward, Rob. But um, <laughs> yeah, just just held that pass up a little bit too long there, Sean. Uh, Would have gone early, but great play by it. down that left edge again. It's been an absolute field day out there. But that'll just soak up a bit of the clock. The ETS bench looks busted and broken. All right, so Dan's just going for a quick spell. One second, I'm just going to look around. Hey, Bobby. One minute, come on. <laughs> All right, Polecats have the ball now. Oh, sorry, UTS have the ball, my apologies. They've gone on to Danny Glover. Chris Glover, sorry. They've gone about 20 metres, and you know they'll probably get a penalty here, because that's in the flavour of the day. A penalty, 
and then they'll knock on or not complete a set and then the Polecats will get back into good field position. But UTS, oh, Ricky really just smashes UTS in the attack here. And he's slow to get up. We're on to Tal. Tal's been trying hard this second half. He had a bit of a bad start, but he's been trying real hard. This is on fifth and they're just... So, ball's heading out to the uh, line. Ariski's got it. He's just trying to send it back. Oh, he's just stepped. Good run from Ariski. Here he is, Cyrus Murray. He's taken it. He's been he's been hit by a wall of UTS defenders. Kalen, Kalen's uh. Here we go. Oh, Ricky. Tori really, he's taking it up now. Kalen's asking for the ball. Goes on to, oh, he's taking it. Onto the last. Polecats are 45 out from their own line. They look to drive this deep. Oh, no. The Polecats did not know what they were doing there. They've just dropped the ball a bit, and they're letting UTS into the back of the game. Oh, first time he's given a call that's benefited the Polecats here. <laughs> Are they, are they short players here or what? It, I don't know. I don't Luke know. Luke man they down. Look like, Looks like Royce's down. Royce's Brother of Luke. Maybe he's playing tomorrow down in Canberra. Maybe how cold will be, be in Canberra. Gee whiz, it'd be snowing down there, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm not looking forward. To it. <laughs> I can't wait to the uh, next 17 minutes. But look, the Polecats really have slowed up on their uh, attack and they're, and they're just letting. Little silly mistakes, letting UTS back in the game, Dan. I don't know, um, they've got to really just keep on playing the game they've been playing for the first half. Oh, he's all right. Tom O'Wade's to us. Royce is fine. Bit of a burner. I've got a man down over here, the... Uh... That's, uh, looks like LJ still getting some work on. Oh, John no, Hunter. Hunter. They go to oh, Tully. Tully, yeah, he's been foot there. credit, yeah, he's been there, man, in the middle. Since Harry King's gone off, he's really stepped up in the middle there. Can he drive him to a, uh, well, a comeback here? Carry King's back on. <laughs> Mate, they're coming back from the dead if they need to. They've got to go to Dargan here on the left edge. Will they, they go try here for They will. Could really open up the game. Inside ball. Him. Looks a bit loose up oh. the middle there as they go. Murray holds him up along with... Uh, I've lost me teamless. Well, ben Carter was in there. <laughs> Oh, he's, tried, he's gone. Oh, he's held up by... Is that Brady oh. Webb out there as well? Yeah, I think so. Ah, Knock on. on. Finally. Thank you, referee. And that was UTS' that defense best was chance outstanding. this half. So let's see if we can... Uh, we'll have the uh, ball coming out of our 10-meter uh, zone. Tell you here, it's pretty cold right now. <laughs> I'm a bit cold. I might need to start jogging around out down here on the sideline. We've got a great, great position too. Shano, how's it going out there, mate? Yeah, good to be a polecat right now, but we've got to keep it up. 15, 16 minutes left on the clock, and I don't know. <laughs> nah. Okay, polecat string left on to big BJ. BJ's busted half through the line. Oh. What have we got here now? Oh, well, another UTS player has gone down. Time off. Oh, all on my brownie. Calm, brownie. For the last 15, mate. And the stretch has been called again. I might just have a little break here in the commentary. And we'll see how this one plays out. Ricky Planky here has joined me in the uh, in the commentary box here. It's about my feels like it's I'm in the middle of the of the Arctic here. Ricky, how are you going? Oh, I'm fucking. Free. 
crazy. <laughs> I definitely would want to be out there playing right now. Definitely yeah. if you're a polecat. Now there's 15 left and we're up by 16, but UTS have been camped down here. They just can't capitalise. What's your thoughts on it, Ricky? I just think that the polecats need to keep playing their game. Just need, need to be solid in defence and just keep playing hard for the next 15 minutes because I know UTS, they'll come back. So we need to play for the full game with our, with our, with our feet against their throats. So 100 miles an hour until the end of the game. Well, we've definitely been trying that. Every time we get the ball, we have been we have been uh, charging up the field, but either a knock-on, a silly penalty against us, or a um, you know, forward pass. The ref has definitely been letting UTS back into this match. Um, but to the Polecats, to the Polecats credit, they've definitely been uh, a better defensive side for sure. Yeah, we've, hold, we've been holding up in defence the whole game. This is what's uh, kept us in the whole game, yep. and this is what's kept us here uh, and got us here on this day on the grand finals because of our defence. So, yeah. um, not long to go, but yeah. they've De got the ball now. We just need to keep going at it. They definitely have grown another leg, UTS. They're starting to play uh, a little bit more confident. They're looking to set things up, um, but they're still uh, they're still struggling with another injury. Another one stretch it off. I don't know who went off then. Oh, it's Harry, I think. But Tull, he's, he's definitely been their, their best on field so far today. Um, and uh, he's backslammed there by by a strong polecat defence. They look out to go out wide. They spin it out. Party's got it. He steps in. He stepped past one. He's still going. He stepped past three or four defenders and he's met by, the by uh, I think, Shy out there. The big BJ. All right, what have they got? They t oh, they've gone for the kick. It's there. Oh, he's not. And they've knocked it on or what's going on? There. Yeah. Knock on. It was a bit of a misread from young Marcel Curry. And uh, what do you think of that, Dan? What you saw? Probably should have scored there, UTS. He, he just seemed a little bit late on it. Kick was a little deep. Uh, yeah. It's gone begging there. So a tw uh, seven tackle reset for the Polecats. They'll just look to rock it up the end of the field. Kick long. They've just got to complete here. They keep completing their sets, finish down the other end. They've got a long way to win it. Well, they haven't, they definitely, thanks Ricky, uh, they definitely haven't completed a set for a while. Um, there's been a lot of stoppages, the stretch has been called out twice, um, and it's all been against UTS. Uh, yeah, the uh, 35 minute half game has gone for about four hours, it seems, because there's <laughs> been that many stoppages. I wish I'd go quick because yeah. it's freezing, and I'd like to see the Polkers get across the line, but there's still 14 minutes to go, and anything can happen uh, here. It is a grand final. UTS still in the, in the contest, but I think... Uh, I think they're home here. Oh, little oh, kick. Little, little kick. Oh, Carter. Right there. Dylan, oh. oh, LJ. He's taken the. He could go the whole distance here. Oh, oh, Carter's ripped his head off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't even look that bad, sir. <laughs> Round and shoulders. Oh. Oh. Another terrible call by the ref. <laughs> oh. Here we go. I wish we had the replay, Rob. That was outstanding. Oh, oh, be Back to that. Belmore. Wowza. Back to Belmore. Oh, Brady Webb again injured. So, I don't know what it is. What's in the water at UTS? Is injuries galore? I don't know, but they're definitely... Like, they've led the season all year. Uh, they've monstered every side. They unbeaten yeah, until unbeaten. the prelim. Yeah, they're shades of 2015. Yep, Definitely. 2015, great year, Rob. Uh, definitely was. It started. It started our uh, role. Did against UTS. This is the fourth grand final between the two in five years. This will be UTS's third loss in a row, actually. Yeah, where, that's right. Oh, well, they've 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 made the uh, grand final every year since 2013, and I think they've only won two of them. And today might be going the other way, where they uh, lose another one. But it looks like they've, they've tried to... Taupo like, gets him on the front foot here. Be interesting to see if Webb comes alive, as he does from dummy half. He doesn't oh. win the penalty. Carter's this time round the neck. Uh, <laughs> not as jump, bad. He jumped a jumper grab, that one. Dargan's got the ball in his hands again. Oh, John. Oh, oh Ilias. Off low party. Monstered uh, by Matty Thomas in the corner here. Well, they're definitely in a great position. Ilias goes to Dargan. Dargan kicks again, and that's a, just a... Panic play, and they're just... He's got the ball. What, is he, what can he do? He palms off one, palms off. Still still going, or is... Oh, he's, he's just held up there. Oh, I won't win it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Where's the penalty, sir? He <laughs> won't let him get up. Curry takes it from dummy half. Gets taken down. 
they just got to look to do nothing silly. I think they've gone into their shell a little bit, the uh, Polecats. The Polecats. That's a better run. The line speed from the UTS up the middle is okay, but on the edges, if they can just look to well, shift quickly. It looks like Brownie's looking to come. Willie gets his hands on the ball shift. here. This is danger. This is danger. Here we oh, go. Here look we look go. Tory. Danger. He's, him. he's looking for someone. Oh, no. He's dropped it. <laughs> he's going to kick it, and he's absolutely dropped it cold. Party on the attack. Party will take it down. They've got to play here. He's called oh, time off oh, again. Oh. Tell you what, John is down. He's every time off. someone's down, they've called time off, mate. Let the game roll. That's cost UTS a roll on here, thankfully. <sighs> My man, Tory Willie. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're definitely the. They're definitely the Polecats have not capitalised on any of their breaks in this second half. They split them out wide several times and they've either knocked it on. He's down pass. the left edge again there. 11 and a half to go. UTS still have life in them. There's only 16 points in them. They need, to be, they need to be scoring a try soon here though, Robert. They're running out of time. They're running out of players. As Ilias, I thought, uh, Ilias, I thought this was his day and slimped off and he doesn't look happy. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he'll be coming Marshall back Boyd on today. Marshall Boyd on. on for his seventh time today. Yeah. Marshall Boyd, he's been on and off. The, pol the, pol the uh, UTS bench is like a revolving door. It's just uh, through their injuries. They're only mm. able to bring on... Lucky people. it's unlimited subs, I'll tell you, because there's been at least 44 changes for the UTS. Uh, as Brady Webb takes it from dummy oh, up. That's a good been, run. He's been strong for them. He has been, but he's just been a little bit... Uh, he's been carrying an injury through this game, and he's, he looks like he might be down again. Slow play the ball. Costs his, costs his team there, Doug, and gets his they hands just, on the ball. They just don't know what... They, They've they gone through the middle the again. Step. Nice They're on a roll here. Okay. They're on a roll here. What's going to happen here? Dargan gets the ball, looks inside, goes outside. Oh. They can't unleash. They're trying to unleash oh, LJ man. and he's through. Oh. What will happen oh, here? It looks like a shoulder charge. They're trying to say send the cunt off, but I don't think he's done anything wrong. He's just tried to tackle him. Yeah. He's gone for ball and all tackle. He'll probably send him to the Simbin just to even this game up a little bit, I'd say. He's on a he's on a he's on a roll with some howlers and this could be another one. No, no, he's just calmed down oh, there. He's, he's given him ten, in, yeah. That's, his, yeah, that's just, his grand final right there. He will not be back. That just evens a game up uh, another another terrible call by the ref. Oh, he'll time it anyway. Yeah. What can UTS do? Can they capitalise? They've got numbers to the right. Very strong? Right. No, time All right, UTS on the attack. Dargan pulled down. That was a costly uh, miss by Matty Thomas. And uh, now it looks like uh, UTS. Brady Webb. Top. Long oh, ball. Yes, Big geezer! A right of kicks! Oh, okay, the foot race! Matty Thomas ball, John Hunter's got it over him, but the bounce is Hunter good gets off. there, but no one's going to be back to take this carry. Oh, oh Tully's back. Tully's back. He's got to give it. LJ. Oh. One on one with Diesel, he's through. Oh, look. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Oh, Curly line all over <laughs> Oh, he's oh. lost that. And, and he lost that. On. What's he going to yes. call? He's called play on. Yes. He's called play on. Just hold on to it. First decent call. Willie oh, goes through again. Oh, he's gonna. Just he's hold it. Don't. <laughs> they're looking to kick oh. here every time. Polly's making these half breaks, looking to kick. They've just got to wind this clock down. It's the first decent call by the ref this half. Yep, uh, definitely. If the Polecats get in here, I reckon it'll be. Willie shrugs hard. one, shrugs two. Gets taken down. Geez, I'd love the Polecats to finish with a try. Here. Time off again. Ricky doesn't look good on the ground there. And that's Ricky Wheelie. This is the first major injury for the Polecats. He's down. <laughs> But how about the intercept from the big number 10? Yeah, he should have just held it and gone the whole way, but... Ah, yeah. oh, well. 
they're still celebrating. There's still plenty of time here for the uh, UTS if they can cross the line, but they've got to they've got to get the ball in good field position, which they have. They've had most of this half, and it's just the Polecats have been letting them in with uh, knock-ons and silly plays. Okay, Tyler Longmire, or ben, I think it's Ben Carter back on the field there. All right, here we go. All right. Polecats on the attack. There, this is the first bit of good pure field position. They'll be lining up minutes. to score a try. And here goes Timmy Curley. Tim Through bus oh, one, bus two. He's going. Go, Tim. He's going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and here we Help. go. Try time to Deza. I reckon he's going to All put right. uh, Carter through the hole here. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's four, uh, oh, they've gone short. Brownie will score. Brownie will score. Oh, oh, the oh. Is over. That should oh. be the ball game. Here we go. And he's going to give it. Yes, that's Sneaky a try. Shano. And Shane that should Brown. be the game there for the podcast. Outstanding work by Brownie. Nine. And this is, I think they've definitely closed it out now. Eight minutes to go. This is going to be a great podcast victory. It'll be the biggest win we've had over UTS in ever. Ever. <laughs> And Shane Brown, the inspirational captain, has taken it over the line. Dylan Carter lines up. What do you think? His chances is the wind is Oh, this kick. Oh. He'd be a pretty good chance. Kick predictors telling me 79% chance of getting it, so he's <laughs> pretty good chance. And we're to UTS now with another another grand final loss in the mist. I could it could spell the the end of UTS I reckon the the, the death of UTS. <laughs> the death of UTS. Uh, <laughs> but I tell you 10th what, of August 2019. It looks like the peace. bedhead is coming back to Kellyville and the Polecats will claim their 18th title. Ah, oh, he's just now that Dylan Carter. And I don't know about you, but it's good to be a Polecat right now. Oh yeah. And the Wanderers are just in disarray over there on the bench. They set the benchmark all year and they have fallen short once again. A successful short kick. Oh, Matty Thomas great. Did it. Uh, it didn't break the 10 and he's lucky, but I think he jumped from the uh, 10 there. And it went 10 and blew back. <laughs> Curry takes it to the line. Looks like they're... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank Whoa. you, Backchat. Wow. Well done. Wow. All day. And UTS have just gone. Polecats They've get gone their to second penalty now. of the day. Penalty count now 20 to UTS, 2 to Polecats. Carter will find touch clock. and they'll go on the attack again. Hopefully finish with another try. Oh, he missed touch. He's missed touch. Oh, no. John Hunter. Now, he's got the speed to go all the way. But is there enough time? Oh, a lovely tackle around the legs. Who was that? Oh, Bruce. Bruce E. Here comes Marshall Curley. Boyd. Yep. Yep. Penalty to Another UTS. It's not quick. Finds touch, UTS on the attack. Really want to see uh, Polecats finish on uh, on top with a try here. Let's we'll see another uh, Arona intercept would be nice. <laughs> How about that? The instrumental um, vice captain just grabbed the ball. UTS was their best chance, and they he just he just broke their hearts with that. Oh, that was a game right there. They scored there back then. Uh, it was game on, and he's in touch. Yes! Wowza, oh, great D. Outstanding defence. Outstanding defence. And we might get our wish here with a Polecat try to finish it off. Well, the Polecats will be having a party tonight. <laughs> Can taste the beers now. Yes, he will. Last 50 oh, seconds, man. Seconds. Yeah, yeah the last five. 
Yeah. And all year UTS have pumped every side and once again comes to the semis. Polecats came out and monstered them in their semi-final and they've broken their backs today. 26-4, four minutes ago. Definitely, definitely the Polecats will be having a party in about four and a half minutes. But anything can happen because they've had a thousand penalties against them. No chance, Robbie. Time to start celebrating. Ah, Crack that champagne open. Ah, Let's get Ricky one Willie. more try. They've been busted. We've got Shano here. Shano, lifetime member. How have you seen the game? Uh, it's been pretty good, mate. It's been tough in the middle. We've uh, oh, lost haven't it over seen the so many stretcher bearers since about the uh, Vietnam War, I reckon. <laughs> the game should have finished two hours ago, but there's been that many bloody people coming off with injuries. Oh. Mostly all UTS. Been UTS. Yeah. All been battered and bruised. Oh, there's a lot of pauses in play, but <laughs> okay. Yeah, live stream. You'd, you'd waste all your battery. <laughs> My battery? I don't think there's enough data in the world to do a live stream with the amount of stoppages. It has been the slowest grand final I've ever seen. And it and UTS have definitely... You know who... Is Westo out there? Is that him there? No, nah, Westo's not out there. I don't think he's here. No. Dargan. He's tried hard all game. It's true. Oh, they go to Tully. Well, UTS are just looking to get a bit of, uh, I don't know. They look unlike. Who cares if you, uh, they're they're trying to salvage something, but I don't think it's going to happen. Intercept coming? No. Oh, smart play by Toll. Oh, he's dropped oh. it. 20 and tap. Give us a 20 tap. UTS Give us a 20 tap. Uh, Paul, knock on. Knock on. UTS. They'll get a scrum 10 out. Still time for that uh, last try. You want to finish with a try, I think, Rob. I think it's just yeah. going to really set the mood for Mad Monday. <laughs> Really set the mood for the party bus on the way home. Oh, definitely. I, I tell you what, the UTS has been outmatched, outclassed, and just bashed. Men against boys, Rob. Men against boys. Oh. They're trying to work, but I don't think it's going to happen. And I can't wait to get into the party bus. Hopefully it's heated. Absolutely spewing I drove here. <laughs> Should be coming back. Here we go. Here we go. What's the pole? Ricky Willie. Are they just going to look to... They're going to they're gonna score. They're going to score, Rob. I can feel it. I've called every try today, pretty much, <laughs> and they're going to score here. Here we go. Matty Thomas. Matty Thomas. Two. They've got... Look at that. Shugs Shugs one. Shugs three. two. Oh, strip, oh. sir. Oh. And here we go. Another oh. stoppage in play. I tell you what. Mate, that might be the last two minutes. The the scoreboard is the error count and the penalty count for UTS. Oh... No, we call time off again. <laughs> we could be here all night. Hope you packed an overnight bag, Rob, because we are going to be here all night. This is a joke. Uh, Let the boys play. Uh, they Pack the scrum. Uh, they just want, yeah, they want to, I don't know what they we want. We are cold in here. We want to get in the sheds. Because there's a Get a warm cup half. of tea. Get ready, you got a minute left. <laughs> They're going to try a shit kick here, I reckon. Definitely. And here we go. They're just spinning out. Oh, sorry. Oh, party. Party, he's going to run in. Oh. Right. Oh, oh no. They're and they're in, and that's going to end the match. Oh. UTS get a try. We get a premiership. You can win the battle, but we'll win the war. Is that what you're trying to say, <laughs> yeah, Rob? Pretty much. Polecat celebrating in the end goal. Yeah, after a UTS try. And I tell you what will be exciting news there. We'll actually be able to get into the suns just starting to creep across as the, our broadcast is about to finish. Let's hope that they get back to the kickoff so Faye Moto can finish on the field. Uh, Tull's going to take his time though, I think. Uh, he's just going to wind this down. One second, big DC's coming over. Coach. Here we go. We've got 30 seconds left on the clock, Dan. And then it's just going to be party, party, party for the Polecats. Brady Webb taking his time. I don't know why he's getting some practice in for next year. <laughs> That's a lot of peas there, Pop. <laughs> uh, here we go. We've got 10 seconds left. Yes. 
and he's missed it. And the siren's about to blow. Game set match. Polecats are 2019 champions. And that's us for today. Let's go celebrate. Oh, yeah.